Swim week is a very chaotic, fun mess. I did book a few shows. No yeah. drinking, no eating, no socializing. The casting process was a bit intimidating. My skin was burnt. Burnt off, if you will. Good morning! This is very weird. I have not vlogged in a very long time, but today we're gonna to be talking all about swim week, and I know some people don't really love the narration type videos. However, swim week is a very chaotic, fun mess, and we always have like this detailed schedule, and we go into filming like talking about what we're supposed to do that day, and then the day completely like I would say I don't think it's ever once run on the schedule. So what we're gonna do is a little bit of narration mixed in with what was going on at swim week. It's not gonna be full narration. I just want this one to be a lot more informational and also like half the things that we were supposed to do that I was saying don't make sense. It didn't make any sense in the final edit. So here we go. If you watched my swim week series in 2019, you obviously saw that I went with a big group of girls. We were staying in like a model content type house. So much fun, but a lot of that vlog was not traditional, I would say, when it came to modeling, but there were parts of it that were. So this one is a lot more, I would call, like traditional. I went with my agency. The only people in the condo with me were Courtney, Shan, my manager, myself. So I kinda just wanna touch on all the points that I can and help you girls. Like, I want someone to be able to come here if they wanna go to swim week and kinda know exactly what to do. So hopefully, we can figure that out. Another thing too, I guess a lot of people don't know that I started in modeling way before I was on social media. I started modeling at the age of 16. I've been with agencies all over the place in different states, in different countries. The whole main reason I moved out to LA was because I was signed with an agency here and I was modeling. Then from there, obviously, I got into the business of social media and I'm on social media as a face myself. But a lot of people either forget that or don't know that. So I do have a ton of experience, like for castings, for what to wear, how to find an agency, how to submit if you're from a different state, questions on measurements, questions on what market you should apply for, based on your measurements or your look. We're gonna get into that as well. And a lot of other questions like comp cards, portfolios, do you need a digital portfolio or do you need to bring a traditional book? I'm gonna try to touch on all of that and really just help someone out if they need it. All right, so day one. I had landed the night before and didn't really do anything. I just got a spray tan, chilled out a little bit, unpacked all my stuff. At this part of the vlog, I was getting ready for my castings for the day. So the first thing that I do anytime I wake up, whether I'm traveling for swim week or just in my day-to-day -day life, is a small meditation and a breath work. So I woke up, I did that, I took a shower, Courtney went out and got me a celery juice. And then since I was so tired, I also got a plain black coffee. I'm a hard bitch, I drink my coffee straight and I was good to go. All right, let's talk about getting ready for castings. In these clips, I'm getting ready for the first day of castings. You are not supposed to wear a lot of makeup. Some people think that you're supposed to show up to like a casting or to like walk for swim week or whatever with like a full blown makeup look. You are not. So when you're showing up to a casting, you really just wanna emphasize if you're doing any makeup at all. Most girls do put on a little bit of makeup, like mascara, concealer, whatever, but you don't wanna go in there looking like glam, right? You wanna be plain looking so the designer, the casting director, whoever it is, can see you as like a blank slate and then decide if they want you in your show, if they like your look, etc. I have been on Accutane for the past two months and my skin is like really, really weird. I'll have like, I'm not gonna say perfect skin, but like pretty normal skin that just gets like breakouts around my period or whatever. Sometimes, like for years at a time, and then for a whole year straight, I'll have like melasma, cystic acne, all this stuff. And it was really, really getting to me. And I feel like I've tried everything the natural way the past two years. It's been so on and off. I was like, I need something. So I have it on Accutane. And up until this swim week, my skin has been happy. But of course, you know, anytime you need to look a little bit better than usual and you put that stress on yourself, shit happens. Another thing I want to talk about too that I was talking about during getting ready is how different my body was for this swim week. 2019 swim week was the heaviest I'd ever been as a model, which is not a big deal. Like I've said many times, swim week is very inclusive. It's very fun. For me, however, I was so insecure. When you're doing a walk and you're at a different measurement than you've ever been while you're doing that walk, your whole body changes. Like in 2019, I had a bigger ass. So like shaking my hips and stuff like that, I didn't have to because it naturally did it. And just overall, like I was, I was super, super insecure the last swim week. We had been traveling five months straight prior. I was eating dessert in London like for days straight, but I don't give a shit when it comes to that kind of stuff. If I want to 
go do something that makes me happy, like swim week or modeling or whatever. I just kind of own it in the moment. But I did realize big changes being back to my quote unquote normal measurements that I normally am and like have been for pretty much my whole life. It was a lot easier for me to walk and it was a lot easier for me to feel like that extra boost of confidence. If you're not at your right measurements, if you're breaking out, if you're doing whatever, it doesn't matter. Just like put on that bad bitch face, go into it and like do what you want to do because you don't want to regret not doing something because of a temporary situation that was going on in your life. So I just want to throw that out there. But yeah, that was the happiest I'd ever been at a model. I still did swim week. I still book shows. So this is just like an extra boost of like not everything has to be perfect. Just go do whatever you want to do. I'm about to like put some loose waves into my hair, but I just wanted to show you like what I wear to a casting. And what you want to do is wear a plain black bikini. I always say black, that's just what I was told, but like you don't want to wear like crazy colors. Maybe if you're like a white or a nude, if you don't have plain black. Something very basic, like even this is too distracting. I'm gonna have to figure out how, oh, and it's inside out. I'm gonna have to figure out how to like fix these ties. You want to just look plain, right? And the shoes that you wear, I, Always say we're swimming with a back so it's easier to walk in so you're not like clinking around. You just want to look plain, glowy, nice. And then for me, for today, I'm probably just going to throw jean shorts over this. It is so hot outside, you guys. I'm literally sweating. You're showing up as a blank canvas so they can see if they want to book you in their show or not. And they then turn you into what they want you to look like at their show. Got to do my hair. I have to leave in 15 minutes. Bye. All right. So from that last clip that you saw, all I did was throw some loose waves in my hair, packed a little back for casting, and literally ran out the door. Just got back from castings, couple of funny things. There was a lot of girls there. However, it was nothing compared to 2019. Like, let's do a little flashback if we can of like how many girls were in the Plymouth. So these castings today were in the same places where I casted last time I filmed in swim week. I was standing in the casting line twice, like for the first casting and the second casting. And I hear these girls like come up the elevator and they're like, obviously like they're not thinking there's a content creator there. And they're like, they're like, yeah, everyone was saying like, it's all, it's been like YouTubers and like Instagram models or something like that, like the past few years. So like other models just, and I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> A lot of people forget that I have modeling experience before I got on YouTube. That is the whole main reason why I moved to LA. I was with Wilhelmina. I actually came out here and was um, like trying to sign in Miami first. And then they sent me to someone to sign with in LA. So like I get it. But at the same time, like there's nothing wrong with putting your content on YouTube. And I really wish that there wasn't that like stigma at my second casting. And there was actually a girl behind me and she was like, is your name Erica? And I said, yes. And she said, oh my God, this is my first swim week. I watched your videos when I typed in swim week and it helped me so much. So. Erica, you just got another casting. For where? Wild Fox tomorrow. <laughs> we love a Wild Fox show. Oh, We already went over how you're not supposed to wear makeup to castings. I am extremely too tan right now. I'm actually too tan for casting. It probably could have been a turn off if it wasn't the right brand. Very, very minimal makeup. Take care of your skin the week before. Make sure you're getting good sleep. Drink a lot of water. I told you guys how I like to do celery juice a couple days before and while I'm here because I'm someone who bloats like this. Very light. You want to show up in a non-patterned swimsuit with a pair of heels. I'm gonna show you mine. I'm not naked, this is my bathing suit. You can wear pretty much any ones you want. You don't wanna wear like a boot or like anything that cuts off your ankle. I like these ones. I've used these for castings for literally ever. Um, so they're like broken in. I'm not gonna buckle them, but you can see here that like, it just covers this part of my foot so my whole so my whole leg still shows so those are my casting heels it's perfectly okay at least here at swim week to just kind of show up in whatever you want which is something else i want to talk about when you're showing up to a casting they're all a little bit different i suggest that you wear something to the casting that makes you feel confident and like your vibe with your bikini ready to go underneath because sometimes you can be standing there like today i was standing in line for a casting that was supposed to start at 11 and it, it was like one o'clock so it is okay to bring like i bring this small backpack I put in here a translucent powder, a br 
Oops. A brush, a spoolie for my eyebrows, chapsticks. This is a wallet, I'm brain dead. And I bring Q-tips for like, if my lips get dry or my eyes get dry. I also bring a bottle of water. I put on a pair of Levi shorts over top of my bikini with no top. Like that's my vibe. Some girls have really cute tight dresses on. I would say just wear whatever makes you feel comfortable to the casting. Have your bathing suit underneath it. Either have your shoes ready to slip on, already on, whatever you're feeling. The intimidation factor. So going with a group, like a content creator group was a lot more like vibey because like your friends are there if you're waiting in line like when you show up alone which most models do you have to run around for castings like all the time it can be a little bit intimidating especially if you don't know any of the models because i feel like everyone's a little bit nervous and like on edge but most girls i will say are warm if you like talk to them like everyone looks like they have resting bitch face but even today like i made friends with a few girls in line and everyone's there for the same thing, you're all feeling the same feelings. Pretty close chance you're with the same agency, maybe from a different state. So don't let that scare you. And then one other thing too we're gonna talk about is comp cards. So a comp card is some of your photos with your agency's name and contact, all of your measurements. So if you have an agency, they make you a comp card. You take one of these to every casting, you walk into the room, you hand them your comp card, you get ready to walk. If you do not have an agency, which I did not last year, I would recommend, I mean like I'm a little bit over the top for everything, but making your own. So last year, since I didn't have an agency here in the United States, I had Shannon make me a template and I put all my measurements, you put your height, your bust, waist, hips, dress size, shoe size, hair color, eye color. That is what goes on a comp card. I have another casting coming up. I have castings tomorrow. I have castings Thursday and then shows start Thursday night. So hopefully I'll be walking bouncing around all weekend in shows and I will be here to keep you updated. So after that last clip, I kind of explained I had all these other castings to go to. However, once we sat down and figured out my schedule, I had already booked two shows for Thursday and the castings I was supposed to go to were for the same time, so there was no point to go cast since I already had shows booked. And then I had booked three shows for Saturday and those other castings were for Saturday. So normally at swim week, it is pretty normal to like run around tents and venues and all that if you have more than one show. However, of course, these ones were literally at the same exact time. So I was just trying to be calm and safe and didn't want to overbook myself or piss off any brands. Good morning updates for today. This is day two of swim week. A lot has happened in 24 hours or like 36 hours. So let's sit back where we started. Yesterday, I had a few castings. I did book a few shows um, for my castings yesterday, which is very, very exciting. And unfortunately, two of them were on the same night. I got kind of double booked. So the one that I'm gonna be walking tomorrow is right next to an event, the Pretty Little Thing show that I'm gonna be attending and watching. All right, so that is not at all what happened. Things got pushed, moved around, shows ran late. We'll talk about that later. But I did not film any of that morning. So we're just gonna talk about it here. So I woke up that morning and those like smaller zits or whatever they were, got really, really big and I like freaked out because as I mentioned, I've been on Accutane for a while and if you've ever been on Accutane, you know your skin is so just raw and sensitive. So I woke up and I was like, come on, I've had clear skin for months and then I get here, Courtney, like let's go to the dermatologist. So we went over there to get something called the cortisone injections. Backstory there, a cortisone injection is basically just like a small injection in your cyst. Usually it flattens. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love doing this. There's like a lot of risks when it comes to pitting um, and like once it heals. However, I was at swim week. I was like, hell no, we're not doing this. So I went over there. She had given me this product to put on afterwards that was supposed to help and it didn't and we'll get into that later. Now I'm about to go to a fitting. Shannon's coming. I'll be back once we get to the fitting. Did I forget me? Seven hours driving on the highway Far away, far away, far away Every moment I was spending no regrets was oh, that's right. <laughs> And as I said in that clip, I was going to a fitting for the Liliana Montoya show. There was a major miscommunication somewhere. A fitting is where you just like our direct book, you show up, they fit you in the clothing, you're good to go. And it was actually a full blown casting for the show. I get ready in my fitting outfit, as you saw, I don't bring a bikini with me. All I have with me is like my bag for the event that I'm going to after the fitting. So 
my name was called, I walk up to the designer, I explain like what I thought was happening, and she's like, oh no, no problem, like you can just walk in like what you have. And I'm just in like these little tiny uncomfortable already heels that I planned on wearing to the event after, and it was a wood floor. So already I'm just like, oh my God, like my walk, like I really want this show, I really want to do this. Like I was just nervous, like really nervous for the first time in a very long time. So they had me walk again in one of their bikinis. Far away, far away. Thankfully, they had me try on a pair of heels that they were going to be using at the show and had me walk one more time. And in my head, I'm like, Erica, you already had two fairy godmother chances. You better use this third one up. You better rock it. So that's exactly what I did. I tied those shoes up tight. Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside. So I did my walk for the third time and I was just totally convinced that I bombed it and like there was no way I was booking that show. But to my surprise, Liliana, the designer herself was like, you're in and I was like, thank God. From there, since I thought I was going to a fitting, I still had somewhere else to go. So I had to leave the casting. Me and Shannon went somewhere else across town in South Beach. When we were done there, we came right back and then it was time for the fitting. The show that I booked for tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie, the casting process was a bit intimidating. One, um, because I thought it was a fitting, so I showed up in the wrong shoes. <laughs> and two, when you're walking half naked towards a group of like gorgeous women who you know are just like holding your fate of swim week in their hands, something in my brain, like I don't know what to do with my face anymore, and I did that thing and my face just kind of went like, in the middle of it, I was like, I'm definitely not booking that show, but I did. Yeah, that's good. Okay, update. We just finished my fitting for my first show, and I have three voicemails from my agent. Hey, Erica, it's Grace. I've just emailed so you. You've got confirmed for um, Boohoo. You've got a fitting tomorrow, and um, the show is at the Versace Mansion on Saturday. So um, you are confirmed for the Boohoo show. Bye. We got more shows and fittings and castings to look forward to. Woo! See you back at the hotel after I take a five minute sitting up now. So then we got back to the condo and I was talking to Shannon, Frankie, my manager, and Courtney, and we were kind of just going over my whole schedule, seeing what I booked, what I direct booked, figuring out like the weekend. And at that point we had realized that I had direct booked a few shows and booked some shows from castings. And I think it was a total of what, Courtney, five or six shows? But obviously, as I explained earlier, there was a lot of overlap. Shows were at the same time or on the same day. Yeah, so from there, it was time to go home, get ready. I remember my eyes were like bloodshot at this point. Like I was looking back at the footage and I was like, whoa, you look rough. I'm really good at faking yeah, um, yeah. my emotions. No, I it's think part it, of being a Scorpio. Right. But it was time to go to an event. Um, as I said, we were going on like hour 13 of that day and the rest of the footage will take it from here. I'm very tired. I feel like like I do a lot of things all the time, but there's just something about standing in heels for hours on end that just my body doesn't love, I don't think. I don't know. I did book two more shows today. You heard one of the voicemails. I'm very excited about it. And then another one I booked was actually for the same day. So again, I have to pick. I need to go get dressed and I will see you guys after the event. Also, sorry if there's just a lot of B-roll. Your girl needs to get back home and get in bed. No yeah. drinking, no eating, no socializing. You go in there, you get your videos, and we leave. <laughs> Should we shake on it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the shakes always f it up because then I don't, then I break it. Goodbye. I'm saying I'm not staying out late tonight. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I bet that you're gonna stay out. The moment where I'm like, uh, oh, can we go? Like I'm we're gonna say no. You're gonna say no. Okay, that's your prediction. That's my prediction, yeah. Okay, What's your prediction? I'm on the fence. That's happened every time. Well, you can't take it back now. What do I lose? My trust. <laughs> Out. down, spinning around you. Wanna taste the glass, dance with the
a long time no see. I know, it's crazy. It's been like a while. We're doing this whole vlog oh, thing again. Boy. Super exciting. All right, guys. Is this thing on? Okay, guys, so as I mentioned earlier, I was going to an event for the Route app. It was so much fun. It was so like classy and like exclusive and just really, really well done. We had a good time. But that is the end of today. I am beat. I'm going on like 13 hours of a work day. Went to the Liliana Montoya fitting. It was actually really cool. So I've never seen a um, casting like that. It was set up beautifully. Not that the other castings aren't, but it was just like very cool. It was at a this place called Dash Bar. Girls were getting services done. But as you guys saw earlier on the way home from my fitting, after I booked the show, I got a very exciting phone call that I booked another show at the Versace Mansion. Shout out to my agency for making that happen. I have my first show tomorrow. I have a fitting and a rehearsal. Also, what do you guys think of this blonde hair? I've gotten my hair blonde before, but I, I don't even recognize myself in some footage. Do we like? Comment down below. Do we like the blonde? Everyone's like, go Burnett. The answer is no. I'm gonna go chug the rest of the smoothie that's probably freaking nasty and disgusting <laughs> from five hours ago, but I don't care. Good night. Okay, so day three. Not my day at all, and this is the part of this whole industry that I want to show more. We always see these gorgeous highlight reels. Obviously, we're posting what we look the best in, but when I tell you guys this morning that I had with my skin, I think I spent at least five minutes crying, which if you know me, that's a lot of crying. My skin was burnt, burnt off if you will. As I mentioned, I'm on Accutane and the product she had given to me to put over my face and like where I got those little injections actually had like an acid in them, two kinds of acid in them. And as I also mentioned, like everything I do with my face has to be very, very gentle when I'm on Accutane. So what happened was between, I guess the travel, my really dry, like raw skin, putting those pads on completely burnt my face. She literally looked at me and was like, there's literally nothing that you can do besides let it heal. I was icing it, doing all this stuff. I basically used the whole morning of day three to try to just calm my skin down. I was putting Aquaphor masks on it. I was putting my face in bowls of ice, which I do all the time. So after I was done having my little insecure breakdown, it was time to film again because it was time for the Boohoo fitting. To be honest, I'm on my little fitting right now. I haven't vlogged all day. I had a bit of a breakdown because my skin went from like basically great with a couple clogged pores to burns on my face because the dermatologist gave me pads that have acid in them and I use them and since I'm on Accutane, it burned my face. So I'm feeling a little not like myself, so I'm trying to turn it on. Like I'm judged based on my appearance and I'm about to go around a bunch of people I know from the internet or friends or whatever and I just like feel like I'm gonna hide. But there are way worse things and we're gonna get out of it, right? I'm just like, I don't want to get But in the Boohoo fitting, it was honestly probably one of the quickest fittings I'd ever been to. Really simple again, you go in, you try it on, they take your picture. For this specific fitting though, the bikini that they had me set to walk in was a sample size because it hadn't been like finished or something like that and it was way too big. Like my vagina was literally like out. So they had to do a couple like alterations like pin it, pin one of the straps just so I didn't like get naked on accident on the runway. And then from there, we got back into the driver's car, went back to the condo, grabbed my bags and it was time to go backstage for the first show which was a Liliana Montoya show. Thank you. 